hey guys i'm back with another video hey guys welcome back to the channel yes i am back with another video yes so we are having homemade shrimp fried rice as well as some lobster tails okay so what i have here i have one and a half teaspoon of uh sesame oil no that's one teaspoon of sesame oil you see here one and a half teaspoons of the soy sauce uh, what else we have? We're gonna have, it said a, um, what is it called for? Just like a tablespoon or a teaspoon of chopped garlic, but I like garlic, so I'm putting a lot of garlic in there. One tablespoon of uh, ginger, gonna chop that up, so probably be just a little bit more ginger than it's called for. It said a bunch, one bunch of uh, the scallions or green onions, a cup of shredded um, carrots, two large eggs, two tablespoons of uh, canola oil or vegetable oil. And I'm going to, I always make things my own, so I'm going to add some of this Korean chili sauce, Gucci chong, I like the way that tastes. And I'll add a little bit of these seasonings, parsley, onion and garlic powder, red pepper, saison, tropical. I'm not gonna add any Italian seasoning, as well as some saison goya. All right. I didn't show you guys the shrimp. Okay, we're gonna have about a pound of shrimp. I'll get those out in a minute. They're the kinds that's already peeled, well, deveined and clean. I'm gonna have to take the shell off of them myself. I have the rice cooking. We're gonna use three cups of rice. All right, let's get these veggies chopped up. All right, guys, so here's the shrimp. It's about almost a pound, peeled and deveined, okay? Let's chop up, I'm going to chop the, this is ginger root, I'm going to chop that first. Chop it up nice and fine. Rice will be done in a minute. Then we will get started on preparing this shrimp fried rice. It won't take long to put together. Okay? I will bring you guys back in a minute. I have a tablespoon of oil in here. What I'm gonna do is, it's on like eight, on pretty much high heat. I'm gonna add the shrimp and the ginger. I'm gonna let this cook for about two minutes until it's almost done. garlic powder. The recipe didn't call for any of these type of seasonings, but of course, you know, I like to add a little bit. And a little of my Saison Tropical. You know. A little bit of Saison Tropical. I need a wok, but this will have to do for now. I hope I don't need any more oil. I don't know if that's going to be a 
And so what I've done, you guys didn't see me do that, but I've combined in a small bowl the um the soy sauce, the sesame oil, and one tablespoon of water. And that's been put aside for now. I can smell this ginger cooking with these shrimp and it really smells good, guys. It smells really good. Nothing like your own shrimp fried rice. All right. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to add the carrots and the scallions. I think I may need to add, I don't know if I'm going to need to add just a little bit more oil or not, but if it starts to dry out, I think I will add some. Okay, I'm going to make this cook for about a minute or two. Okay, now we're going to get ready to add our soy sauce and the rice. I'm going to add some of this boo boo chung. Not much. to make our lobster pills, okay? Bring you guys back in a minute, okay, guys. We forgot to add our eggs. Can't have fried rice without the eggs. Why y'all didn't tell me I was forgetting the eggs? All right, I will bring you guys back. All right, guys, I have the two lobster tails in here. We had a little problem with these, but I finally got them out the shell. And that's uh, basil, parsley, butter, and a little paprika on top. I'm gonna let them simmer for about another minute. What's up, Philly Field Gang? How's everybody doing? Yes, we have us some homemade shrimp fried rice. Let's bless this food so we can see how it came out. Bless this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Amen. All right, guys. Yes, y'all saw me. I made some homemade shrimp fried rice. Easy. You can do it yourself. Just really want to. I mean, I know, you know, hey, you just might want to do that. But you can add all the shrimp you want and not have to worry about paying the extra 2 or $3 for extra shrimp when you can buy a whole pound of shrimp for $6.99 at Kroger's. <laughs> and I have two lobster tails. You know... I didn't have as much luck trying to crack these, so, you know, it, one looks a little, but hey, I bet it tastes good. I topped these with butter. Um, what is that? I topped these with butter and parsley and a little uh, paprika, okay? And a, just a dab of Tony's. And then you saw me, I let them steam for about five to seven minutes, about seven minutes. And then I have some sauce to dip them in, Philly Phil sauce onion, garlic, ginger, and this is, okay, this is what it looks like when it's frozen. This is what it looks like once you thaw it out and it's ready to use. You see all that onion and garlic and ginger and basil and all those seasonings? Y'all, so good. So I have a couple in stock, limited quantity. Let me know. DM me if you want some, okay? All right. Let's see. I didn't have as much luck flipping that egg, <laughs> but it did. I did get it done. It, it's cooked. Okay. So let's see here. I think I can use these chopsticks. I think now. Woo. Here we go. All 
All right. Let's see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that. Good. And I, I did make my rice a little spicy, okay? So it is a little spicy. So it has egg, garlic, um, egg, garlic, let's see here. My mind is going blank. I'm ready to eat. Mm. Egg, garlic, scallions, um, carrots, and the shrimp. And then I add a little onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. And that uh, Goo Goo Chung sauce, it's spicy too, but it's good. It gives it a good flavor. And if you want to add more soy sauce, you can. It's high in sodium, so I didn't add that much. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. The shrimp are not overcooked. Y'all, this is really good. Mm. So I used long grain rice, washed it real good, and then I boiled it till it was almost done. Drained it. I added a little salt to the water. Drained it real good, and then I just set it aside and let it cool down. And I used three cups of um, rice and two eggs. Woo! I got some of that seasoning. Two eggs. I taste the ginger. Ginger really gives it a good flavor. So now you know how to make shrimp fried rice, if you didn't already make it. Have you made shrimp fried rice before? And if you don't eat seafood, you can do this with chicken, steak. Or you could just do veggie fried rice. I may do veg. I love veg vegetable fried rice. Mm. Broccoli and all the other things they put in there. It called for snow peas, but I didn't want any snow peas, so I just omitted that. But you can add the snow peas if you want to. This is so good. Mmm. 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 And whenever I order shrimp fried rice or anything, I like to have the shrimp all throughout the rice. That way, if you make it yourself, you know you're going to get that. And there's some nice sized shrimp, too. These are not your little big, these are not baby shrimp. And these were already uh, de-banged. All I had to do was take the shell off and just wash them real good. Look at that. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let's try this one that didn't want to act right. Okay. So I'm going to put some sauce on here. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh. My goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Do you eat lobster? With this sauce, all this onion and stuff on it, oh my goodness. Look at that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's delicious. Oh, that was good. I love lobster. Shrimp, crab, I love seafood. You know, you could also put some of this sauce on the rice as well. So I'm going to do that. You sure can. Mm-hmm. That tastes good. 
See, the sauce has ginger in it as well. This is too good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that is delicious. That was worth the wait. That was worth me frying that egg and trying to flip it over. I had a hard time with that, but I got what I needed to get out of it. It was cooked. It didn't burn. I think I left some lobster in this tail. Yeah, I left a little piece of lobster in there. I want it all. Mm. Mm hmm. So, yeah. This is delicious, guys. Look at that. All those shrimp up in there. Mm hmm. Let me know if you've ever made shrimp fried rice or if you're going to. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe. You will enjoy it. And, like I said, you can add the peas in here if you want to. I just don't like them, so I didn't add them. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm getting better. You guys eat with top six? So, I do have some sauce. Look at all that goodness in there. Look at that. You better get some. You better get you some. Is this your first time stopping by the channel? Hey, thank you for stopping by. I sure do appreciate it. You know what I need you to do now? Like this video. Leave me a comment. Press that red subscribe button, okay? And then share, share, share the video. All right? Do that for me. Let everybody know what we're doing over here. This is delicious. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. I think I can eat one more bite. In fact, I want me some sauce on it. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. That's good. You've got to try it. Okay, guys, thank you for stopping by. Ooh. Again, this is how you'll receive it. It'll be frozen. Then when you get it unthawed and cooked and all ready to eat, this is what it'll look like, okay? Going to have some t-shirts in stock real soon for you to purchase. Hey, I appreciate it. All right. It's Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. And then the weekend, you might as well say the weekend is here. You guys have big plans for the weekend? Woo-wee, I'm full. All right. Thank you for stopping by my channel. You know I appreciate all of your support. We're almost at 2,000. I haven't checked it. I may be at 2,000. I was almost there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As I always say, you never know where I'll be, what I'll be cooking, who I'll have in the kitchen with me, what city, what state I'll be in. But one thing you can count on, you are always welcome in your girl Philly Phil's kitchen, all right? Good night, everybody. Whew, I'm full. A lot of shrimp fried rice left. And I have some in the pot. That, that made a lot of rice. So if you're not cooking for a lot of people, you might want to use two cups and sort of trim the recipe in half, okay? All right, see y'all later. Yeah.